gate was 204,600. The attendance was 2,020. Um, performance of the night bonuses go out to uh, Roosevelt, Joseph Benavidez, Espino, and Usman. Daniel, talk about it. Usman. I mean, he closed the show in pretty, yeah. in pretty damn impressive mm -hmm. fashion. Uh, can you talk about your impressions of, of, of what you thought of him tonight? Yeah, I've been talking a lot of smack about him in his last uh, several fights because I feel like he talks too much and doesn't do enough in the octagon. Well, he looked damn good tonight. Tonight he went in and delivered. He was punching harder in the fifth round than he was in the first round. Just that punching, kicking, wrestling, the, the whole thing was impressive. Especially, I have such a huge uh, amount of respect for RDA. The guy's a stud. He said it himself. He's been here for 10 years. He's fought all the best. Every time RDA steps in there, it's, it's incredible. So, yeah, Usman looked good tonight. He wanted to earn a title shot with the performance. Do you feel like hey. he's uh, you tell me. I'd like to see him fight Woodley now after seeing that. Listen, Colby Covington pulled out of the fight, didn't, didn't defend his belt, this, that, the whole thing. I'm one of these guys, when I just see a fight like this, you know, I want to see, I, I want to see Usman fight now. We'll see what happens, though. So is there a possibility? I'm not saying that's the case. But, but I'm saying it's possible? That, I mean, because we thought Woodley sure. Covington was, was, was guaranteed. Yeah, nothing's guaranteed in life, man. Nothing's guaranteed in life. Is there an update on that? We're, we're waiting on Woodley to get cleared, no. right? Do we have any update on, on his condition? or? No. All these guys. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't even get me going. Don't even get me going. You want to get me going, but I don't want to get going. <laughs> <laughs> well, just, it's just, it's, he's just not ready to fire or a weird situation? Which one? Yeah. Yeah, which one? Two Ultimate Fighter winners tonight, both uh, very impressive performances from, from those. Did, did the heavyweight or the featherweight, did one of them impress you more than the other? What did you think of those two times? No, they both looked awesome. Uh, you know, when you, when you go in <laughs> on the big stage like that and, and the stakes are the highest, you know, you go and you perform and, and, and you finish. It's impressive. We know that the gym's closed. you got the new facility coming up. But what's the, what's the future of the Ultimate Fighter? Is this the last Ultimate Fighter finale we're going to have? Or? Nope. The Ultimate Fighter isn't going anywhere. We're going to... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep going. Yeah, we're, we, you know, the the design of the new you know facility that we're building has the Ultimate Fighter in mind too. Okay. Do we know when a new season would be, or is it kind of just no, kind of yeah. waiting? I'll let you know. know. Yeah, we have the money for it, so that's already done. Is it part of the ESPN package or something else? Or yeah, it's it's part of it's part of the money that we have right now for content. Okay. Yeah. I want to ask you about contenders too. This is a great night for contenders winners as right. well. And, can you tell us 2019, I mean, A, I guess kind of how happy you were to see the contenders guys graduate, so to speak, but yeah. B, what the, what the future is for 2019. Again, to, to come in, you know, under pressure on the contender, then come on, you know, into the UFC and, and, and fight like they did tonight. <laughs> it's awesome, man. I, 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 uh, I look very forward to more contenders. I, I, I know you guys feel the same way. I love that show. I could do that show every day for the rest of my life. I, I have a blast doing that show. So, um, I'm looking forward to it. How soon could we see it? I mean, you got to wait for the, the, the new facility to be done, right? Yeah. So how soon can we get to Listen, they're, the, they're cranking over there already. That, the construction's killing it over there. These guys that are doing our construction, these are the same guys that built my house. They're good. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully they'll, they'll get it done as fast as I got my house done. The last thing I want to ask you about tonight, Joseph Benavidez made a pretty impassioned plea for the flyweight division. I don't know if you got to, to see that, you know, after his performance. Can you help us out? I mean, it's been, it seems like it's kind of murky. What's what's going on? What's not going on? Um, I mean, you do have a title fight coming up, but it sounds like the division maybe. Get, help us understand what's going on with flyweight. Yeah, um, it is murky. It is murky right now. Um, you know, obviously we still have fights going on. So Hudo <coughs> is going to fight Dillashaw, um, and we'll, we'll just see how this thing plays out. You know, the, uh, it, that division is a division that I battled for for a very long time and, and, and defended and, and said, are you people crazy? Well, how, do you, how do you not like these fights? How do you not like the champ? Um, but, but it never really stuck. It never really became a popular division. So Even you, with such a dominant champion, you know what I mean? Even with an incredibly dominant champion, it didn't do it. So is it safe to say it is going away at some point? Or are you, you letting kinda... anybody else ask questions here, or are you running this whole thing? I'm kind of running it. All right, all right. I'm just checking. <laughs> that was the last thing I have for uh, Yeah, no. Uh, you, you know, we'll, we'll see how this thing plays out. But th there's guys, e even if it goes away, guys like Benavides and, and guys like that could move up a weight class, too, because a lot of those guys cut a lot of weight. When you say we'll see what happens, is this if Cejudo wins? You, it keeps going, or if he, if No, no, there's, there's no plan 
for anything right now. This fight's going to happen with Dillashaw and Cejudo, and then we'll see where we go from there. Were you, have you been surprised and, you know, with uh, ratings, with uh, the flyweight division of how they've gone? What do you mean? Do you think they'd be, uh, be higher, bigger interest with Demetrius with such a, you know, a great champion? Yeah, you would think so. You would think so. But it never happened. They never pulled ratings. They never pulled pay-per-views. It just, it, it wasn't, you know, wasn't what it should have been, in my opinion. What do, what do you think it was that kind of... I don't know. I can't put my finger <laughs> on it, you know, to say that, that people who are true fight fans don't like smaller guys or don't like... I mean, Demetrius Johnson got to a point where he would literally go out and make himself finish people. You know, and and you know the guy was talented and everything else, but just never stu never stuck. How did that go down with uh, Demetrius leaving and going to One FC? Was that? It's good. Dave, we don't have FS1 back here, but uh, I just want to ask you, clarify. I said on the post show that you said you uh, you want to see Habib and Ferguson and Connor and Poirier. Is that? No, no. So they said, what's going to happen? I said, nothing's going to happen until this thing ha it goes down with the Nevada State Athletic Commission. So, and they said, well, what do you see? Do you see the immediate rematch with Khabib? I said, no, but anything is possible. I, see, I could see Poirier, Connor, Tony, you know. T Tony deserves a shot at the title. So who knows what's going to happen to Khabib or Connor in this, who knows? You know, if, if Khabib gets some huge suspension, these guys got to fight, you know what I mean? So. Who knows? We, we literally can't um, make any plans until it's over. So that was more you just kind of supposed, and like those would be great fights, but you're not saying they're arranged or that's definitely what's next or anything right, like that. Right, right. Cool. The last thing for me, I promise. The, co you. the commission hearing hasn't happened yet. Yeah. Last thing for me to happen. even say anything <laughs> is going to happen, who knows what these guys are going to get for suspensions, yeah. you know? If it was just a fine, that'd be one thing. They're definitely getting suspended. I mean, I, I can't see a scenario where they don't get suspended. So I can't, I can't do anything. Uh, what about Anderson Silva? He was telling, he was saying in Brazil that if he wins, he's going to fight for the, for the belt. Right. Is that true? It's true. How was the negotiation to set up this deal? No, I, flew, I haven't seen him in a while. I flew out to Los Angeles, and we sat down and talked. Told him I wanted the Israel Adesanya fight. And he says, uh, you know, I'm just coming back. How does that make sense for me? I said, it makes sense for you because if you win, I'll give you the title shot. He said, now you're talking, buddy. I like the way, you, the way you're thinking. And I love that. I love that Anderson Silva wants to come back and fight Israel for a title shot. It's beautiful. Did he ask for other names? Did you offer other names? Or? No, once I told him it was for the title, we had a fight. I just want to ask about Sage Northcutt. He signed with one championship night. Can you just yeah. explain the logic there? Because, I mean, I get, you know, why some people, he's a young guy, popular, there, there, marketable. No, no, but there, there's obviously a ton of logic to it. But at the end of the day, I like Sage Northcutt very much. There's something wrong with you if you don't like Sage Northcutt. You know, he's the nicest kid in the world. So I, I don't want I know that when I just did the podcast, it came off, like I said, he's young, he's just, there's a lot of reasons. Now, you guys all know me. You know, when I usually release somebody, I'm usually right, <laughs> all right? Um, and I don't want to badmouth the kid. I don't want to even sound like I'm badmouthing the kid. I love the kid. I wish him the best, and, you know, it's just, it, it, and we didn't, re, we didn't cut him. I saw things, that, yeah, his contract was over. So we, we let him go. I mean, was, was he just asking for ridiculous no, money? No, it's, it's not even about that. It was just, it was the right move. It was the right move for me, and I know it was the right move for him. Danny, you said earlier you, don't, you have no idea what's going to happen with Connor and Khabib, which makes sense because that's an independent government body with the state athletic Thank commission. You. But those are <laughs> those are two of your bigger stars. I mean, yeah. are you concerned? Are you like? Do I look concerned? I'm not concerned. I, listen, I have a job to do. I got to make fights, no matter who's here and who's not. I have to make fights, so I will continue to make fights until we find out what the. Um, suspensions are, and then when the suspensions are laid down, I will still continue to make fights until they come back. What is the worst case scenario in your mind? What is, what is the worst that you? I, I, I can't see them giving Habib over a year. Mm. But you think a year is, is the worst worst case? I hope, I hope so. If it's over a year, I, I come on, man, that would be uh, that would not not be fair. 
whole thing was over in 40 seconds. Nobody got touched. Nobody got hurt. Nothing happened, you know. So, yeah. I think that they have to, I think that the commission has to send a message and, you know, and I hope it's not over a year. But I, I don't think it would be fair. Any more questions? Cool. Cool. Yep. John Morgan, anything else? <laughs>